scientist Solarian. Let me, let me dust off the old computer here. <sighs> Anywho, if you ever feel like playing Apex, uh, we're into that again. I would need to reinstall it, but uh, yeah, I, haven't, I haven't played multiplayer games in a minute. You played Tarkov. By myself? Yeah, but against other people. Oh, yeah, but I don't get to hear them or talk to them or anything like that. I mean, like, games where you're talking to someone and you're trying to be, like, on a team and make sure everyone's organized and Jason isn't constantly talking, but too late he is already. Uh, we were we were fairly chill. Indy was trying to do a pacifist run in Apex, and uh, I, you know, that just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I love, uh, I still remember, Bloodhound is really useful as a team. Yes, Bloodhound, Bloodhound is fucking terrific when you're playing defensively. Yeah. Like whenever you get to the, you know, second or third circle, yeah. and you can just pop a squad, perfect. And use your ability, wait, wait for it. If you have a good pusher uh, and you have a healer, Bloodhound is aggressive as fuck because of the fact that he can see through yeah. walls. And that, that everybody in his team can also see through walls, right? Uh, yes, temporarily. Temporarily. He sees it the yeah. longest. I'm a Bangalore man myself. All offense, baby. You're Bangalore? All offense? Mm. I, liked, I liked the robot because uh, the robot's ability to run in and then swing into uh, combat and get out quick. Uh, everyone, everyone learned how to use his maneuver to, to, to run faster, which was jumping and then shooting his thing so you pull yourself forward mm -hmm. and then you have to like time it right so that as you land you're still running you don't stop running it's really cool how to yeah. do it um i always love that i always love that maneuver i've seen some people go nutso and just really chain it together mm -hmm. and they get faster than um octane mm -hmm. and octane has that super jump. octane and so watson no horizon horizon ha is a new uh, character with another super jump. Is that the girl? Yes. The one that uh, Patrick posted the walk no, of? No, that's Loba. That's, uh, that's Little Miss Cameltoe. The designers uh, lovingly crafted her a, uh, a, a realistic Cameltoe in the front, and we could not stop laughing at that yesterday. Well, I can't see it. Tur she turns before you can see it. Apparently, she, they, they apparently placed a camel toe <laughs> in the front <laughs> or at least what miles claims is a camel toe and they were all joking and laughing but this is just the back walk the fact that she has a sexy walk here's the cane and the camel toe all in one. Oh, the cane and the camel toe all in one this is a good use of our time yes she's just gotta i mean don't get me wrong girls girl girls thick Girl's thick. I just love that some designer put a lot of oh, effort, yeah, hours and hours of work. Yeah. yeah, they made it. They she she has she it, it, she has a gap, but they they lovingly gave her thighs and an ass to go with that gap. So I I can appreciate the effort into the uh, accuracy, the fact that. Her butt would look like popping like that if she were wearing heels that high. Now, granted, if you're if if, if that's smart to wear heels that high in a game about running through the woods and up a mountain, I don't know. But maybe her boots are special. Maybe they're made for walking. That's just what they'll do. See, there you go. So that's why she does it. She's a healer. So uh, how does she heal it? Does she suck out the poison? No, she's uh, she basically. Uh, it's called Black Market. She mm. allows you to choose two weapons from anything that's in the area. The downside is it is a beacon that tells everyone exactly where you are. Someone stealing from a bunch of shit. Basically, yeah. So that's her ultimate, or just a random ability she has? Uh, that is her ultimate. What are her other two abilities? I don't know what her passive is, but her other active is she throws a ring in the air and then she could teleport to wherever the hell that ring lands. Okay. Not not necessarily a, a camel toe. I think um <laughs> I think you guys need to read up on what that is. Just throwing it out there. But she definitely has what I would say is a, a mount. 
she has a mound, which would be accurate. A girl wearing something that skin tight with thighs that thick would have a mound. No, in that no, area. no. This this isn't just a mound. That's that's it. There, if there is no split down the middle, then it's not a camel toe. It, you got to see a visible. I sound so disgusting <laughs> next to my wife. She's sitting there playing. I'm talking about the essence of what that is and she, to another dude. And she's going here. Wow, what the fuck did I marry? And she says, what? She doesn't say who. She just says, what the fuck did I marry? I am now somewhere in the range of just an animal now. Maybe she finds it endearing. Just like they call it a moose knuckle for a dude <laughs> when the shorts are too pulled up and his dick and one ball are to the side really thick and the other one is sort of off the side. It looks like a moose's knuckle. The camel toes along the same lines. It's just even down the line, so... Uh, it is it is a very in in doubt a very sculpted area. I will agree. It's a sculpted. They got someone put a little a effort in that effort. area. Too much effort. And her ass. And the and I will and I'll give props to the animator who put that walk together. That was hot. Whichever uh, whichever animator out there listening to this, surely looking for uh, kudos on Loba's uh, ass and vagina. Good job. You heard it for you heard it here, folks. You're to hear, folks. I mean, this is right up there with Mass Effect 2's big thing when what's her name was the 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 the, the video game world blew up about the skin tight girl in the in the futuristic pants who's got you know an ass so tight you can you can bounce a quarter off of it. And then that happens to be the game where they had the punk girl that everyone who said that they didn't, was secretly kind of having a thing for Jack. Even if you said you didn't, everyone thought they wanted Jack. Jack was the only romance option. I went for Jack first, right out the gate. Right out the gate. I was like, I want Jack. That's it. Done. Done. And then I did um, the one with who wears the mask the whole time because her people are... Uh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's... What I love about her is her, the, the, just the, the wonderment she brings with her. There's a sense of just pureness, but just also a hardenedness because of the, the people she comes from. They travel like, like uh, gypsies through space, and they have to wear a suit because um, I forgot what, exactly what happened. They, they can't breathe the air. Or no, their, their bodies are completely and utterly um, susceptible to any and every disease. They're like literally... Like you, you sneeze and they yeah, die. It's a race full of hypochondriacs. Exactly, exactly. So they, they're gypsies because they travel the world. So they, you know, they don't find, they don't get sick. And then the other one, the one that's a race of all women that seek out men to populate their race of more women. They actually didn't need to breed with men either. They, they just needed to breed with other races. They can't breed with themselves, but they're a race of all women. So they go out in the universe and they mix with everything. And because of that, the other um, the children that are born, which are always born, their genes are always dominant. They're always born again as a, there's an, a woman of their species, but they pick up traits of the male. I I remember meeting in one of the games you meet one of those species who the mother mated with one of those um, aggressive races that looks like a toad. Yeah, Krogan. Krogan. Yeah, the Krogan. And she made it with Krogan. So the girl, she's like super sexy, but she's like uber violent, just like her father. <laughs> and she's got like, she's, she, she knows she's really strong and com- she has combat abilities and everything just like her dad. And I was like, that is dope. That is awesome. So it's like this little, ah, uh, that and, and, the, and the one that, and I think in the second one, her eyes are blue and she's trying to hunt her daughter are you down. talking about miranda or no i know who you're talking about um yeah miranda miranda's the hot sexy yeah, human uh you're talking about samara samara dude Ooh, dude dude i give me samara man give me samara samara was hot and this is like this super uber reservedness in that red suit that she wore she can beat me up <laughs> Step on, step on. What is it? How does it? How does it go? Is it for the for the Resident yeah, Evil step thing? Step on me, senpai. Se- step on me, senpai. <laughs> and then I did play the third. So I I played the first on a friend's 
Xbox. Mm -hmm. And then the second one I bought for mine, and I played that one, oof, religiously. And the third one I played, I, I mean, it was all right. It wasn't the best. And then I, don't, I didn't play any of the other ones after that because it was just garbage. Did you actually like the first one? I like the story. I like where, what it could, could do and what they were trying to do. But it was clunky. There was a lot of extra stuff with the weapons. It was just like they were attachments. There were 500 different guns. People had issues with their inventory. It was like, dude, that was a clusterfuck. I will admit to that. But the classes and the abilities you had with the weaponry and how, you know, depending on what you did, gave you different storyline options mm -hmm. i love that there was a choice there was a there was difference you know and not everyone had the same adventure and and i and i like that it, it reminded me of fallout again going back to fallout it reminded me of fallout we're always going to go back to fallout i know first one was all right it had its issues but the second one it's like they 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 figured it out they were like okay Everyone liked this stuff, so we're going to do a little bit of this. But we're going to pull a little bit of that crap out. Okay, okay. They like this about the, the fighting and weapon stuff, so we're going to pull this in, but we're going to pull a couple of parts out. Now, I wasn't a fan of some of the things they pulled away from the weapons and armor stuff thing that you could do. I saw the point of it. Dude, man, once I figured out the, the really how to enjoy the powers, fuck, man. I loved it. I was a sentinel. Yeah. So it was all about powering myself with the yeah, that uh, with the ether power, and then throwing gravity to lift someone up, and then throwing them and slamming them so they would shoot off into the oblivion. Because mm -hmm. I hit him with push. I love that. That was awesome. Original Mass Effect really, 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 really turned me off because the fucking checkpoints were so goddamn bad. There was one part specifically. I think it was pretty early, like maybe five hours in, where you drive the Mako. A, a good long way. Oh, don't, don't even, um, the, oh, the vehicle was trash in that game. The problem with this one was, oh. this particular section was, it wasn't even eventful. It was just one where you had to go at a certain pace that the game set for you until you got to the, you know, the, the next hub. And then you get out, you go in, and there's a geth boss like immediately and if you died at that geth boss you had to go all the way back to the beginning of that section and i was like mm, nope bye nope nope no i would have i would have been with you there dude i don't know how far i got in the first one but i liked it i liked the story though it was this cool like future i mean it was like it was still earth but then it was like this you know this gate that looked like a like a key in space you know and that was cool and then the second one sort of bringing that back out and they really developed some of the characters and i did all i did so many of the side missions oh, yeah. dude i did it yeah. all there was so i wanted to read all the stories i wanted to find all the the um what you call it uh audio files all the audio files for one and um all the all the materials and stuff that you can mine which i forgot what you would use that for oh to trade in for money and then buy upgrades yeah, I think in the second one, yes, yeah, yeah. Right. The first right. one was, if I remember correctly, it was mostly just about uh, the cycle was you pick up garbage <clears throat> to get credits, and then credits go into uh, RPG like elements for your guns, like a scope or what have you. Yes, and then you can have a a, a larger option range of scopes and things like yeah, that as you as you put yeah. your skill points into those mm -hmm. particular areas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is cool and all, but there was just so many attachments and armor types from like five different worlds and it's just like oh shit so this is the armor from this planet which is better at this but then it's lower at this so what people would spend they they had people min maxing and it's just like this game was was fun about the fact that it wasn't all about the min maxing is that you could just you saw that it was better you put it on if it wasn't you just leave yeah. it there that's yeah, it that's totally how i prefer it in a game like that mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. uh mass effect 2 was the game that got me back into video games when it released mm. on it was 360 but this was i think like a year after release but you know that was for me at the tail end of college i was in my first apartment i had just gotten done with baseball you know i was coasting uh, through my senior year. You know, I was mostly playing sports games with the guys in the dorms and Smash Brothers. 
I was, mm-hmm. you know, a, an RPG didn't even really enter my mind. So I picked it up on a whim. It was like 20 bucks. And that opening segment where your ship gets attacked and you do that spacewalk from one airlock to another, that was the moment where I was like, okay, you fucking got me. I am in this game. This is good. And then mm-hmm. uh, you, you know, what happens to Shepard where he or she falls from the yeah. uh, from the ship and basically dies right then and there. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. tell me a fucking story. I'm ready. <laughs> how are you gonna? How are you gonna bring yes. me back? How are you gonna bring me back? And then boom, they bring you back. But then they bring you back with like interesting scars. Yeah. Right, remember, and then the more evil shit mm-hmm. you did, the more the scars would glow red and just have this like make one part of your eye red. And then I forgot what it did for the if you went actually, it would make the scars go yeah, away. Yeah, I it think. did. Yeah, first time I played through that game, I didn't, it was my first time with a uh, legitimate, um, good bad uh, morality system, so I didn't really. I didn't take an approach to it. I was just like, I don't know, this seems cool. I don't know, kill this motherfucker, I hate him. But what that did was, since I was so used to just like, you know, getting to the end of the game and not like really paying attention, when you got to the suicide mission, I lost half of my fucking crew before we even got into that bitch. I was like, damn it! Because... You did nothing of their side things. You got them to be on no one's side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. chose Jack as my favorite. Whenever she wasn't suited for it for this particular job and she died, I was like, I hate all of this. What the fuck is happening right now? I lost the, redhead, the red-headed girl that worked in the comm section who you could have in a relationship oh, with, yeah, yeah. but it wasn't as fleshed out as all the other possibilities. I flirted all the way for the most part with all of them um, to the point, and then I was like, all right, I want Jack. I want that. I want that. We all knew what I was going for. I remember I lost Thane, uh, which I was really mad about because I really, really liked Thane. And then. Thane, 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 Thane. Thane's Thane. the Komodo dragon looking dude that uh, is very religious and he's an assassin. Yeah. Oh, dude, no! Oh, yeah, yep. Thane was... Oh. I lost him, I lost Morden, and I lost um, Samara all before I even got inside that last base. I was like, I want to quit all of this right now, but just keep going and see what happens. And I kept making every bad choice subsequently to where it was like me, Miranda, and like Tali survived. <laughs> It's like Jesus effing Christ. I took too long to get to fight the the was it the replic not the replicators the the founder no not the founders There's, the uh, reapers the reapers. I took too long to get to the reapers that that's uh because your crew gets taken yeah. that that I lost a couple of people and the, and that's where I lost some folks. Cat needs something to blow on her hot ass computer. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I think that's a sick... Sounds sexual. It does. I'll give you 15 minutes. Go ahead. This just in, good mild to be right back after these messages from our sponsor. Wholesome Body Crunch. Have you ever found your bowl lacking a certain cream of life? Have you ever walked away from cereal because the milk had already won? Does your time doom scrolling on the toilet make you feel like less of a person? Then take a spoonful of wholesome body crunch. 29 herbs and spices in every spoonful combined to make a crunch hard enough to break your mother's back. Every cracked kernel of homegrown goodness is laminated to keep out milk and spray with just a bit of Old Spice for that exotic flavor. The next time you need a crunch that you can feel in your toes, reach for a sealed capsule of wholesome body crunch now in squeeze pouches wholesome body crunch should not be used to keep spiders or ants out of your home use only as directed please crunch responsibly in the state of california or around dormant volcanoes 
13 minutes later. And we're done. Ah, ah. Legion was in the second one where you had to decide if you let Legion go or not. Yeah. Because you weren't 100% sure if letting go of a sentient Geth to join the Geth Collective was a smart idea because technically he had seen and done things that gave him access to sensitive areas. Mm-hmm. Man, I let him go. I let him join the, uh, the collect. Doesn't he, does it end up working in your favor? Yeah, yeah. Legion comes back for the third one, even. Yeah, and, and as, as the head, um, as, well, as, as the Geth, right? They come to help. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Make sure that that leg isn't swaying out. All right, perfect. Yeah, I can't lift all the things and do all the movements without my help. This is terrific. I don't want to say anything because this is just uh, your audio track over someone's sexual intercourse. Yeah. Circling back around. Um, Mass Effect 3, I played uh, the ever-loving shit out of that game. I I think I played it... Yeah, that I was I played it through one. about 12 times, I think, trying it with my imported character. Mm-hmm. It was OP when you brought your imported character. I'm just going to say that. I now. preferred bringing an import character because what happens is, like, for those that haven't played it, Jack gets sidelined super hard in Mass Effect 3. Like, yeah! super hard. She's like, she's just some character at, a, at an institute. Yeah, yeah. But whenever you get to that point, basically that's one of the coin flips that happens in the background if you don't import your old choices. It's, uh, you know, a coin flip on whether Jack lives or dies. It seems to always select that Jack dies. So that makes it feel like a waste of time for me. It's like, oh, my favorite character from the last game isn't in this. Great. Well, screw me hard then. Mm. How... Uh, how would you rate the sexiness of the sex scenes in the Mass Effect series? Um, I feel Jax was the most aggressive. <laughs> Miranda's was just sexy because she was sexy. So it was sexy hot. Um, having sex with the, with the species girl or the ones that are all females yeah. was just erotic. Because they're like all about they're like all about the body and like everything is like a sense and everything like that. It was just erotic. I need a soundbite of that. I'm gonna make my and own then soundbite. Erotic. I find the boobies the most erotic <laughs> part of the female body. You know what the best part about recording this stuff and keeping the recordings is that I can make my own Jason soundboard now. That's nice. That's nice. I feel good Neat. about that. <laughs> you should be saving all of these. Neat. 